Hello everyone, this is Jason Mutlake from StellarMate. In this video, we'll be talking about Ecos Alignment Modulo. This is the primary modulo where we're performing all the alignment and astrometry work. We need that so that your mount will have really good and accurate go-tos. And especially for astrophotography, you need your target to be dead in the center. So to get started, you just simply need to slew and track to the desired target anywhere in the sky, preferably close to where you want to image. So in my case, I'm actually close now or actually targeting Denobella. And I simply unparked and just went there. I don't have any prior alignment points stored for my Gmod mount. In the settings here, you will notice that your FOV is 0 by 0, and this is not a bug, it's actually one of the new features. It turns out that many people don't have the FOV as calculated from the mount or the telescope focal length and the CCD formation, uh, because you might have a corrector or a, a flat field or any other optical elements that might alter your final or effective field of view it now actually defaults to zero by zero and you need to at least perform one solve operation before it actually automatically calculates it on the other hand if you don't want to do that then you can edit it for example here as you can see it suggested that my calculated fov is 68.6 times 51.6 arc minutes. So I can directly enter this value here and then I can uh, use that to accelerate the performance of the astrometry solver. But let's leave this zero times zero for now. This is where the telescope is now thinking it's looking at at this right ascension and declination. Uh, this value here is you, you want it for the accuracy value, which is how many or, or how long does the astrometry needs to run until it is within this many arc seconds. Here we have the bullseye plot. So if the target's co I mean, if the solution coordinate, which is the real coordinates, are within 40 arc seconds or less of what the telescope is reporting then we consider this good enough and we call it a day and we accept this value. Uh, actually, it's by default 30. So you can see here it's becoming a smaller error circle. Your green zone is actually now smaller. So I'll, I'll just keep it 30 to have a better uh, accuracy. The settle time is how many seconds you want to wait before you solve again if the mount slows to the corrected target. Here we have the CCD settings. I have it the exposure at five seconds to capture enough stars. I also capture a dark frame uh, in case I need it. Binning four by four, it's usually recommended actually to do four by four or two by two. Uh, one by one just takes a really a lot of time. Okay, so without further ado, let's uh, let's go ahead. Yeah, the solver action, usually you want to leave it to slew to target unless you know what you're doing. So this is the default value and you just leave it there. Okay, so now let's, we're ready, let's capture and solve. So now here we see the capture results. And now it's capturing an image, it's downloading it. And here, yeah, the solver, I selected it to be the remote. So this is the solver that is running on a stellar meet. It's not the solver that's running on my on my uh, computer, which is offline. And you can also select the solver, the asymmetric solver, to be the online solver, which can be either be the like the nova.asymmetry.net solver, or it can be like for example Ansvr VR or uh, asymmetry.net Lite, which is like a local server that's running on your computer and it acts like the online server. So there we go, it actually solved the first image and here we see the actually the, ca the, the measured FOV, this is the real FOV. And in here, you see where the, the, the amount where it was really before, 
and away from the target. So, and now where it is, oh, we're almost close to the center right now. So this is where it was before, and now it's corrected, and actually it went here. It's now solving again, and you see that you see the second solve is actually now much quicker than the first one. And now it's still iterating. So this is the second solve here, and if you hover here, you see the information. It's getting really, really close from the center. And it's solving now for the third time. And this is running on StellarMate, so it's not really running on the fastest system. And there we are. We are almost dead center here on our third solving operation. And here you see the solver FOV. So this is the actual field of view. And you can hear 68 times 51. This is where your camera is looking at. So and actually, you know, you can you can actually match it with the frame here. So this frame and the star orientations here is identical to what we're seeing here. So this is pretty neat to see the actual orientation of your camera and and the angular size it takes on the sky. And it it, uh, it helps you to do planning for your astrography sessions. So this is the basic the basic premise for how to operate the astrometry uh, or alignment modulo in ECOS. And that is all for now. I hope you enjoyed watching the video.